Ing, it's Kathy Stevens and it's Wellness Wednesday again. I hope you're all here and ready to join me for our stamina building workout today. I'm going to talk a little bit today about stamina before we get started so that hopefully that'll give a little bit extra time for those to join the room so we can all start together on the right foot during our warm-up. So let's talk a little bit about stamina. We know that stamina includes a range of physiological and brain functions from your lung capacity and your heart health to your mental clarity and stamina in terms of being able to deal with things in life, um, whether they're health related or just stress related. And I guess the two go together, right? So endurance is your body's ability to handle um, challenge like heart, uh, and lung capacity. We sometimes think of that as your volume of oxygen that you can maximally use without getting tired, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. Hi, Betsy. And stamina, though, includes the mind and the body. So you want to be able to handle not only physical stress, but hardship, mental stress, and maybe even illness in as good a way as possible. So today I'm going to talk about some tips to help not only with endurance, which is the physical side of stamina, but also with the whole body integrated stamina for health and fitness. We go back to the same kind of basic three, making sure you eat well and stay well hydrated. Hey, Craig, that's going to be a part of everything, it seems like. So I feel a little repetitive when I talk about it, but I can't emphasize enough that diet and, and exercise and sleep, which we already talked about, or stress reduction. But let's zone in a little bit on exercise and how we can use the 60 up board, our goal obviously, to increase stamina from an exercise perspective. Now when it comes to the heart, I just mentioned a second ago something called your VO2 max, which is the volume of oxygen that your heart is able to pump and that your muscles are able to utilize per minute before you start getting tired. The higher that you can use that oxygen or the higher your max, the less likely you are to fatigue, the higher your stamina. Now we know that most of us think about working cardio in terms of doing long, steady work. But you know there's a thing called interval training and lately we've called it HIIT, high intensity interval training, which is where you work harder versus longer for short bursts. And what we find is with that type of training, we kind of put the pedal and push that endurance up and along with that, push our stamina up. So today in our workout, we're gonna experiment with that in a, what I call an MIT or mini interval training. All right, so they're gonna be brief little intervals that you'll feel like you're pushing the pedal and then of course you need adequate recovery afterwards. And we're gonna use a cycle that we'll do using the clock, so I'll be very honest on this, all right? We're gonna do a cycle of a 30 second push and then a 60 second rest or active rest and we're gonna do eight of those. So it'll be a 12 minute segment where you're gonna really work on this idea of the mini intervals to push the stamina and endurance in terms of heart and lung health. Now, I'll also give modifications, so don't let that scare you. Um, the second thing we're going to do today, because another huge aspect of total body um, stamina is stress reduction, so that you can ward off some stress-related overuse uh, or over done situations that can whittle away at good health and wellness. And for that, we're gonna borrow from the practice of Qigong. So what is Qigong? Qigong is a ancient Chinese practice, which is very similar to Tai Chi. It kind of comes into the same family, but it's more about using movement to combine mind, heart, and body. Doesn't that sound like what we do on the 60 up already? But using movement in a way that can create health and wellness and calmness and balance. Qi meaning life energy, gong meaning work or movement. So when we combine the two, we can create that yin yang or whatever you wanna say of energy and relaxation. We're gonna use a little Qigong practice today, both in our warm up 
and in our cool down. So hopefully you'll stick around for the entire workout so you can feel the peaceful energy that we'll bring in total for our whole body stamina, that ability to ward off tiredness and illness by keeping our mind and our body working together for health and wellness over the longevity or the stamina of our life. So that's our game plan for today. Um, in terms of any questions or comments, please make them throughout the class. And if I can't answer them directly because I'm in the middle of teaching, I will catch up with you after class and try to answer those. Checking in, I see Jenny is here and Pat. Thank you guys for joining me today. It is always a pleasure to see my regulars. And Tom, you may be new for me, I'm not sure. I'm trying to scroll down here without losing you guys. Mona, Craig as well, and Betsy, thank you. And let's see, uh, maybe a few extras. I'm so glad you're watching. So again, today, just to, as a quick recap, we're gonna be working on overall stamina for the heart and lungs, but also for the mind, body, and heart. And we're gonna combine a little bit of intensity training or interval training, short ones, along with some Qigong. And by the end of the day, hopefully, good morning, you guys will know what I mean and refer back to this um, during the tape on YouTube anytime you need that blend, that blend of energy and peaceful, mindful movement because we're gonna start that way and we're gonna end that way. In the middle comes our intervals. Now, let me talk a little bit about what you need today. Obviously your boards, but you'll see my board, I don't have any bands on today. I know we've been focusing on strength, all of us, um, a bit the last week. So today it's a little more cardio and a little more mind-body. Um, you'll need some water. So make sure you have your water nearby and a chair nearby. Some of the beginning movements in Qigong are gonna be freestanding. So if you have problems standing from a balanced perspective, have a chair right behind you so that you can sit down if that becomes a problem. And then in the end of class, again, when we go back to the Qigong movements, you can always do the final ones seated, okay? Uh, I have my chair nearby so I can demonstrate that quickly. So we hit the water, make sure that you're on a mat or carpet so that your board isn't too wobbly. That's a real key. The thicker the mat or carpet, the less um, imbalance you'll feel and the, the easier you can master um, balancing on the board. So with that, we're gonna get started. So let's get moving. I do have my clock set up. I'm gonna put it so that when we get to our intervals, our mini intervals, I can clearly see what we're doing and I don't go over the time that I projected. Let's see if I'll be able to see it from there, yes. Okay, a little background beat just because I like it. And let's get started. I hope you're all enjoying your holidays and staying safe out there. That's so key right now. We're almost there again, done with this whole lockdown. All right, let's start again, as always, with good standing alignment, but we're gonna go into what we call the Wu, Wu Chi posture. What does that mean? We're gonna stand with our hips and our feet right underneath us, about shoulder width apart. I want you to think of being tall, almost like a string is pulling your head up, pushing your chin back to lengthen the back of your neck, leveling the shoulders, letting the arms relax to your sides. Now I want you to keep the tongue up behind the teeth and we're gonna be breathing through our nose during the warm up as much as possible. Soften your knees a little bit and just let everything shake off a little bit. Now we're just gonna step back Enough so that when your arms come up, they don't hit into your poles. And we're just gonna float the hands up and down, nice and soft. Now as you're doing this, I want you to almost imagine that you're floating through water with those arms. Inhale through the nose, and then exhale through the nose or mouth and nose. Good, chest up, knees soft, slow, primary aspect of Qigong is nice and slow movement, slow motion. Inhaling as the arms come up, floating down through water on the way down. Let's do a few more of these, nice deep breaths. Last one. 
And now we're going to take and start a lunging action. So we're going to lunge to the side, and we're going to allow the arms to kind of wrap around your body and kind of hit your hips a little bit, knocking on your body. We call this knocking on the door of life. Lunge and let the hands just kind of have a mind of their own. Let them flow. Let them catch a little bit of air. Pat yourself on the hip. That's it. Keep your head forward, or you might feel a little too dizzy with this. Now let the arms start to come up a little higher. Maybe pat yourself on the shoulder or back. Remember, don't be in a hurry. Nice. Lunging right and left, letting those arms float down again, hitting around the hips. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Use that nice deep nose breathing. Up again, pat yourself, let those arms just slap. Knock on your back. Keep your focus forward towards me. Center that vision. Now let's go down low again, one more time. Waking up those body parts. Use a nice deep breath, lunge and sweep around like an egg beater. All right, let's bring it back to the center and let's add a press between our palms. Little isometric press. Inhale with the arms coming up. Feel the energy rise. Exhale, let the arms come down. Building energy with our opening Qigong warm up. Inhale, push up, push the palms. Exhale, let the knees sink and bend a little bit as the arms come down. Again, inhale up. Exhale down. One more time, push, inhale up, exhale down. Now open and close, inhale, exhale, and push those palms again, creating that little contraction. Inhale, palms up, exhale, palms together. Notice my legs are extending a little bit as I open and bending as I bring the arms together, oxygenating, pulling fresh breath, Fresh energy into the heart. Again, inhale. Exhale. One more time. Deep breath. Exhale. Now from here, let the hands melt to the thighs. Bring the body forward at the hip and twist and rotate, looking behind your shoulder. Feel a good stretch down the side of that back and torso. Inhale and exhale. Bring it back to the center and twist to the opposite side. Hands are firmly positioned on those thighs. Look behind you and feel the stretch down the spine from the neck to the tailbone. Now bring it to the center. Give me a flat back and a cat back. Flat back and a cat back. Good. Just do a few more of these. Pumping that spine, getting that circulation going. Two more times. Round up. Exhale, flatten down. One more. Up. Exhale, flatten down. From here, I want you to climb up, hands to thighs. Roll back the shoulders, lift the chest. Put the hands on the hips, walk the feet in. Heels and toes, heels and toes. I know that's hard for some of you. Stay centered, zip and tighten up the torso. Hands can come onto the top of the poles now for those of you that are feeling a little insecure without holding on to something. Rocking one foot at a time, up and down. I bend my knees together on the down. I pull back on a toe to warm up that ankle for stepping. Bend. Now try to center yourself so that you're right there where the red line is in the middle and your body feels tall, keeping that chin pulled in, that chest up. Four more, pulling the toes back one at a time, right, left, or left, right. Whichever you started with is fine. Couple more. Last two. Last one. Now we're gonna roll up our toe, up to the toes, 
and then down it, shake it out. Do that again. Roll up to the toes, nice and slow. Drop it down and shake it out. Two more. Up. I want you to shake out that tension like a tree. Shake it off from the shoulders. One more time. Rise up, slow. Drop down and then shake it off. All right, hands back onto the poles. Let's roll one foot up and down, the other foot up and down. Just a good long stretch through the arch. Good long stretch through the arch. Two more. Last one. Now take the right foot, put it on the back of the board so the toe is forced up. Step a little bit behind you with the left foot and then just bend that front knee and straighten it. This is for those of you that have a little problem picking up those toes. We're stretching out the calf and we're getting that ankle mobility up a little bit here for the workout. So bending in as a lunge and then straightening back out. Good, two more times on this side. Good, last one. Lean with a long spine, push back. Step the feet together, and we're going to switch left foot up so the toe catches the edge of the board. The board can bottom out. The other leg steps back a little bit. We bend that front knee, lunging into it, and then straighten it. Nice deep breaths. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth and nose. Two more times. Good. Again. Awesome. Step back, bring your feet a little closer. And from here, let's just start a light tap on the center. So tap the red line, bring it back. Tap the red line in the center. Just get your body used to standing tall on one foot and lifting to get up onto that board. But just tapping, waking up the hip flexors. Good. Now, how's that posture? You still have that nice, tall posture. Head up, chin parallel to floor. Take your time, there's no hurry on this. Two more times. Last one. Now from here, we're gonna take the heel, and I want you to touch the heel to the side and back. So just somewhere around the number two, and back, again. Out, balancing on one foot, present the foot with the toe up, and then back to two foot position. That's it. Take your time. Light touch on those handrails. You've got it. Every once in a while, wiggle your fingers just to ensure that you're not over gripping. That's it. We don't need to build up too much tension in those hands. We want to keep it free, but also stable. Nice. Heel touch, foot down. Heel touch, foot down. Let's do two more. Excellent, last one. And now, stay on the right, standing on the right foot. We're gonna tap center, side, center, side, and floor. Let's try the other side. Center, side, center, side, and floor with my toe, center, side, alternating sides, building up the endurance to stand on that one leg for a few seconds. Again, center, side, maintain that nice tall posture, chin parallel to floor, head up high. Center, side, center, side, and close. Two more. Keep breathing. Last one, center, side, center, side, and close. All right, ease off your feet a little bit. Rock side to side by bending the knees. Beautiful. Okay, now from here, let's just step up. Right foot, left foot, then step right down, right foot. So basic step, here we go. Up, two, back, two. Just trying to warm that body up a little bit, get ready, get set, 
get into those intervals soon. Basic right. Nice and slow. Now you can look at your board, look down as you step up, but every once in a while, try to bring your vision back up so your neck stays in good alignment. Because sometimes when we tuck that chin down for too long, then the posture follows. So we need to keep that chest up, head high. Excellent. Let's do four more. Allowing the board to bottom out, right to left, getting the body used to that movement. Last two. Last one, stay up and rock side to side. All right. Let that pressure go. Pushing through the feet. Feel the outer edge, the toes. And then shift to feel it a little more on the inner edge. Just feel that different connection, that different proprioception. And then back to center. Four more, three, two, and step back down gently onto the floor. All right, bend both knees. We're gonna warm up the left side the same way, just with a basic step and then a rock step. Here we go. So basic up, two, down, two. Leading with your left. Left, 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 good. I'm sorry, left, right, left, Right, did we all have two left feet on that last one? I know I did, at least it sounded like I did. Up, two, think about climbing stairs, think about keeping your chin up, your chest up. You're just stepping up in that one to one and a half position on your board. Excellent. Remember to wiggle those fingers every once in a while. No rush. Just getting the blood pumping, a nice steady state where that heart rate is at a comfortable rate. Respiration or your breathing is comfortable as well. Let's do a couple more. Climbing that hill. This is such a simple movement and yet so effective in terms of elevating the heart rate in a soft and steady way. Let's do two more. Stay up on the last one and then just rock and start to feel that connection between the mind and the feet, from the outer edge of the feet to the inner edge, from the toes to the heels. Just kind of feel for your foot positioning on that board. Nice. Inhale and exhale. All right, now take and bottom out to the left, step off, and we're gonna start our super eights. So remember our intervals are gonna be eight intervals in a row, 30 seconds, going a little bit faster or harder, and 60 seconds recovering. For those of you that feel that the hard is too hard, then by all means, Get your chair and sit in it and do the same move seated in the chair. Our first series is gonna be a little jog in place behind the board. All right, are you ready? We only have to do eight of these. That should make you feel good. Set and go. So now just move your feet fast and lean in, creating a little tension in your arms and taking some of the weight off your feet. Come on now, lift and lift and go. Breathe, inhale, exhale. You're halfway there already. That's what a mini interval is all about. Keeping it short, coming out of it when you need to. Let's get those feet moving. You've got seven seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and tap to the side, recover. All right, so notice what I'm doing here. I'm my knees together and then tapping the side on the ground, on the ground. We get a full minute to recover. Isn't that nice? That's your reward for working hard. All right, guys, now same move, but we're gonna tap the heel right versus the toe just to even out the ankle. What we do for the back of the ankle, we wanna do for the front and vice versa. 
stand tall and breathe. You should feel that your respiration is coming back or your breathing rate is coming back to a more normal pace now. Now we've got about 15 seconds before the next interval and we're gonna do the same move so you can get it even better this time, right? You know what's coming. 10 seconds and then we're gonna run in place with some weight bearing on our arms. Five seconds. Whew. All right, here we go. Lean in, bend those arms. And remember, the more you bear your weight through the arms, the less stress on the feet. So lean in a little bit, but try to keep your spine long and strong, but just put, put a little weight in those arms. Come on guys, we're almost there, 10 seconds. We're already down to the last 10 seconds. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. All right, now bend those knees and recover. Catch your breath here. You want to feel the need to breathe deeper by the end of that 30 seconds. All right, easy knee bends. We get a minute to recover, that's the good news. All right, now from here to continue recovering, let's just go ahead and tap behind you with one foot. Slap, slide that foot back. Excellent. We're getting serious here. We're halfway through the recovery. Two down, six to go. Chin and chest up. And remember that intensity move is always optional. Sit down in a chair if it's too hard or just slow it down to your own personal pace. Oh boy, we're getting there. Five seconds. All right, now here we come. Let's come over to the right side. And from here, we're gonna just leap over and back. And again, I want you to feel a little spring action. Use your arms as well to pick up the ski poles, push down and then try to get over. Now your leap might be a little lower or a little more powerful. The more powerful, the better. You've got 10 seconds to go. We can do this, come on. <sighs> Breathe, inhale and exhale. Two more, last one, isn't that nice? It's done. Now we're just gonna step together, step, touch. Slow it down. Whew, you get a minute of this lateral walking. Chin and chest up. Three down. Awesome, guys. Keep walking side to side. Halfway done. So after this next 30 seconds, we're gonna leap again. We'll start on our left side. And remember, if this is too difficult, just keep the impact low and make it a big side step. 15 seconds to go. Catch your breath. Now everyone is gonna make it a little harder to recover, so don't be surprised if you're still breathing a little heavy at the end of the next one. Okay, get over here to this other side and here we go. Leap and push, push off. Try to get across from one pole to the other. Imagine that you're going over a big crack in the floor. Nice. Use that arm rail, engage those upper body muscles, push off, push off, push off. Good job, we've only got five seconds to go. 30 seconds goes so nice and quick, doesn't it? Four, three, two, one, and double side step, good. So step together, step, lift your chest. Now that's halfway through. Now the next four we'll be doing on top of the board, okay? So let's cool down, we get a full minute. No cheating the recovery. That's the other important point to make when you're working with high intensity to build stamina. A lot of good things happen during the recovery. Almost as important as, or in some cases more important than, during the work phase. So don't cheat the recovery. Allow your body to recover with a really soft double side step. We got 10 seconds to go. All right, now we're gonna step up top, so bottom out, 
And we're just going to do that rock and run. 30 seconds, go. Push off. Go, go. Bend both knees. And if you want to engage a little more muscle, you can be pushing your palms into the side of your handles to increase that rockability. Here we go. Is that a word? I don't know. Rockability. We just made it up. It's a 60 upward. Let's go. Push, push, push through the outer foot. You've got it. You're down to five seconds. Four, three, two, last one. Good job. All right, stay on one side and just sweep this leg in and out. And just breathe and recover. Full minute. Nice little low slide grounded to the right side of your board. We're gonna repeat that rock and roll, a rock and run, and that will get us down to only having two more to do. How you feeling? All right, you got 20 more seconds, so let's put it back in the center and just do a slow rock. 15 seconds, nice and slow, like you're moving through water, quicksand. Use a little Qigong action here. Slow is a primary element to Qigong. Taking everything and slowing it down, slowing the rhythm. All right, here we go. Ready? Let's go. Bend those knees, push those handles. Remember, your goal in 30 seconds is to up the ante, up the work. Get that heart rate and that respiratory response lifted, upped, 60 upped. Come on, push and go, push and go. You can do this. You've only got 10 seconds. That's it, five seconds. Two and one, all right. Again, lift and go to the other side. Ooh, take a deep breath. Balancing on that one leg, allowing the body to bring the heart rate down under control. Good. Two more to do. So it's called Super 8. If you want to repeat it on your own, it's 30 seconds of something pretty vigorous, followed by 60 seconds of something light for a full um, eight times in a row. You can just go back and forth. It makes about a 12 minute workout, but very condensed, very much upping the ante on your endurance and your stamina. All right, so now what? So this next set in 10 seconds, we're gonna come down and go up. And I want you to really pop those hips. And if you wanna add a little jump through your feet, you can, but you don't have to. Ready, set, go. Pop it up, sit it back. Pop it up, sit it back. Pop it up. You don't have to add a jump, but you can just lift your heels. Make sure you're sitting those hips back, folding at the hips. Push off. Feel that nice pump through the legs, up through the arms. Heart rate elevating. Five seconds to go. That's it. Two more. Last one. Whew. And let's just take one leg and reach back like you're skiing speed skating speed skating that's it <laughs> if you were skiing you'd be falling on your face right so speed skate back we get to recover and the great news is one more so this is what I mean by harder not longer doing something for the endurance system that gets done in 12 minutes, but feels like you've been going about 45, right? Push back. Inhale, exhale. Stretch out those hip flexors. 10 seconds in our last interval, we'll do the same one, the squat thrust or hop, if you're up to that. All right, settle into good squat position. Feet about shoulder width apart, here we go. Down and up, down and up. You can also grip and push through the arms, engaging the shoulders, the chest, down and up. Try to balance the board as much as possible. Remember our goal is to up the heart rate. So don't worry too much about balance. Let's do two more 
And that went fast, didn't it? Last one, good job. All right, now from here, I just want you to circle the leg around. Here's where balance comes in. I am grounding the board before I circle. Inhale and exhale. And that's all we wrote, that's it, eight in a row. Whew. Take a deep breath. Now normally, if you just wanted to get in your own little quickie workout, you could be done. That would be 12 minutes and done. All right? But since we're here together and adding that element of total body stamina, including stress reduction and energy uh, build or life energy build, we're going to continue and move down into our Qigong exercises. All right, a couple more. Last set of two, right leg first, then left. And then from here, we're gonna step down. And I want you to get some water because that was some intense work. It's important that you hydrate. In particular, the higher the intensity, the more you wanna ensure that you are, hi Deb, that you are getting your hydration in. All right. Remember from my hydration lecture, try to do four or five gulps. That's about four ounces. And we want to drink about four ounces every 20 minutes of exercise. So that would be just about where we're at. You can always start off with the first four ounces before you even begin exercising. All right, so now, we're on to a little more of our mind, motion, movement, energy, life energy build. So we're gonna start with a conditioning move called the Qigong push-up. Your hands are gonna be on your handles. You're gonna to step to where you can slowly bend your arms without your body falling forward too far, but putting pressure like a push-up into your chest and then slowly coming away. I wanna show you this from the side. I don't want you to tip your board too far. So my legs are back again in that nice shoulder distance apart. I'm going to slowly lower, bending my arms like a slow push-up, woogie posture, chest up, chin pulled back a little bit, tongue at the top or the roof of the mouth, inhaling and exhaling through the nose, tightening the glutes, Remember, slow build of energy. Good, exhale. Inhale through the nose. Now, if you're uncomfortable doing this on your board, you can do it on a wall as well. So, or a desktop or countertop. You don't want to push so far down that you feel your board isn't stable. Just enough of a bend and then slow in and out, using your breath, using your mind body, tightening your gluteal muscles, tightening your core, building energy, feel that strength building, and then empowering you on the way back. Think of a, of a spring coiling and building tension and strength and endurance and stamina, and then pushing away, showing the power that you build in your body and the ability to use in the environment. Again, inhale and exhale. Two more. Inhale and exhale. Nice and slow. It's all about the slow. One more. See how my body moves like one board? That's it. Like a, like a plank. All right. Shake off those arms. Shake off those hips a little. The next one is again, a slow, what I'll call the Qigong crunch. I'm making it up, but you know what I want here. I want you to have one hand on your pole, feet come together. You're gonna to take the right hand and the right leg. You're gonna bring them together in the middle. You're gonna balance. And then you're gonna push up with your thigh and down with your arm without rounding your spine. Breathe, inhale the nose, 
exhale, build that endurance, build that stamina in the core. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and release. Shake it out, shake out, shake out, shake out. So you want to feel a building core strength as you push the arm down and the leg up. You don't want to drop that chin or the head out of alignment with the shoulders. Other side. Same thing, hold on now with the right. Lift the left to meet the left, left arm, left thigh. Engage and push down with the hand as you push up with the thigh and breathe, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale and relax. Oh, cheek arm ab crunch. Shake it off. Shake off that arm. We're going to do another set on each side. This time I really want you to combine the breath with the movement. And I want you to feel as though when you're inhaling, your head is expanding up and lifting off your spine and your lungs are expanding. And as you exhale, your abdominals are really crunching hot. Okay? Right hand. Right thigh, bring it in the center. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, contract. Shh. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, contract. Shh. Inhale. Exhale. Shh. Push, push, push. And release. Shake it off, shake it off. One more side, how's that feel? Can you feel that core engagement? Can you feel that expansion through the body like you're filling up with hydrogen or helium, not hydrogen, we don't want that. Okay, other leg up, other hand up, find your balance point. Inhale, lengthen and pull. Exhale, push those two together real hard. Don't round your back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, push. One more. Inhale, lengthen. Fill it up. Exhale, push. And then shake it off. Very nice. All right, let's bring it back to the center. So we had our core, we had our push ups. Now, one other strength Qigong movement. And then we will be on to the relaxation of the Qigong, all right? The yin, we want to bring everything back and quiet it down. But this one move I want you to do is to slide the left foot back. We'll call this the Qigong one-legged balance. So we're going to stand on this leg and very slowly we're going to go four, three, bending the knee, two, one, four, three, two, one. Again, bend that knee, keep that core strong. Inhale through the nose, tongue up behind the teeth, and then straighten it. One more, bend that knee, keep that other leg behind you. Square off your shoulders, lengthen your neck, and relax, shake off the tension in this leg. Awesome. Other side, we'll call it the pelican. All right, now what's on one leg? Uh, stork. All right, other leg back. Flamingo. Oh, I like that. Okay, here we go. Square it off. Bend that knee. Slowly, like four floors down the elevator, four floors up. Level the hip. Inhale and exhale. Strong, long breaths. Again time and then bring the feet together and shake off this leg all right one more on each side standing back on your right sliding your left behind you squaring the hips keeping the shoulders level neck long chin in head high here we go then slow inhale and exhale straighten Try to keep that board level. Feel 
building that stamina in that right leg. Last one. Beautiful. Shake off the right. Get ready for the left. Center up. Slide the right foot back. Find your balance. Find your core strength. And here we go. Back leg up. Front knee bending. Down the elevator four floors. And then back up. Sometimes you'll find one leg is a little wobblier or less stable. That's okay. It just means it needs a little more TLC. Again. The last one. Excellent. All right, shake this one out. Really nice. All right, shake that all off. Get yourself some water while I bring the pace down for your Qigong Yin cool down. All right. Everybody take a second, get a little water. And then come back to the center. Now for those of you that are tired, you've been on your feet a long time, you're more than welcome to do the series seated. Okay, just pull your chair in and whatever I do in the next few movements, you can do seated. I'll have my chair behind me so I can demonstrate it both ways. So we're gonna come back into that really nice, uh oh, roll those shoulders around, that feels good. The Wuji posture where the feet are about shoulder width apart, tailbone tucked slightly under, chin pulled back, head elevated, tongue on the roof of the mouth, arms relaxed to your side. Almost like there's a ball between your thigh and your hands. Stir this up. Gaze your eyes comfortably forward. Soften up a little bit. And we're going to do a few chi clearing exercises. So the first one, pulling down from the heavens, we're going to bring the arms down and then up. And then we're going to pull the arms and the energy into the body. I'll start again. Arms come down. Hands around the side with a big inhale. Feel the hands touching together and bringing the energy to clear the body. Three times. Inhale up. Exhale down. Taking your time. Remember, slow you go. I want you to take your arms and just twist your body like you're throwing a ball across. Throw it. Slow. Sweep down, sweep up. Throw the stone. Throw it. Let it come down and up. I want you to feel like you're picking up tension and letting it drip off your fingers as you throw it across your body. Allow your back to be involved, your legs a little bit. And remember, our goal is to calm and clear. So just slide and throw. Reach and throw. Reach and throw. Side to side. Toss that stone. That's it. Now, let's take one arm up and the other arm throws. A little bit more momentum. That's it. Throw it across the body. Throw. Take your time like you're moving through water. All right, and bring it down to the center. Let's go back to pulling down from the head body three times. Inhale, bring that energy up, bring it into the heart, the mind, the body. Movement, working together with energy. Three times. And release it. Now, walking the feet in together. Gently. We're going to do a little what I call the shake off. Start with a light little bouncing shake. Let your heels 
bounce down from the balls of your feet down. And let's go up the body with this. I want you to focus in on the ankles. As those heels gently hit, I want you to feel the ankle joint releasing stress into the ground. And then I want you to move up to the knees. And I want you to feel the same thing around the knee joint. These are joints that with time build up a little bit of scar tissue, sometimes arthritis. Just let that arthritis drip out of the knee with that shake. Moving up to the pelvis. You can close your eyes on this if you feel comfortable. You can hold one hand on your rail if you need to. Just let the hips release. Pelvic floor. Shake it off. And then moving up to the shoulder girdle. Let it just jar a little drop and release tension from the neck, from the scapula. And then elbows and fingers. Let them shake that tension to the ground. Release. Refresh. And then fill it up the neck, even in the head, all the way to where the cervical vertebra meets the skull. back towards the center of things. Let's take and bring your hands to your handles and rise real slow up, all the way as high as you can go on your toes, and then drop down and shake it off like a, a tree in the wind. Keep going. Again, hands on rails. Rise up to the toes slowly, slowly, slowly. Head high, chin in. Drop it and shake it off. Let it go from your chest, your hips, your knees, your ankles, your hands. Shake it off like Tyler Swift says. All right, one more time. Slow up, chin up, but pull back slightly. Drop it and let it all shake. Shake off any bad mood, any bad energy, any bad or heavy feeling in the joint. And then relax back. Let's pull down from the heavens again. Inhale. Maybe step a little wider. Exhale. Feel that renewed energy coming into the body. Extend a little on the way up, soften on the way down. And now if you have a chair, we can sit. If not, stay standing. I want you to be totally relaxed here. Form a ball. Let's call this the Qigong ball. You place it right on your abdomen, right beneath your belly button. Keep your head high, your chin pulled in, your chest lifted. And I want you to feel up the belly with air and inhale. So inhale deep. You can do this standing or seated and allow that ball <laughs> to expand or grow under your fingertips as you inhale. And as you exhale, bring it back in and feel the energy that you've created in the ball refreshing your kidneys to the back side. Again, inhale. Think of it like a pearl growing and becoming brighter inside your abdomen, right below your navel, inhale, exhale, put that warmth and energy through to the back side. You can keep your eyes lightly closed, inhale, grow the Qigong ball, full of energy, full of light, full of health, and exhale, push it through your body, through the kidneys, through the low back, to all those places that need a little extra warmth and care. Mental, physical, heart health, mind health. Inhale one more time. Grow that big Qigong ball, that shiny pearl. And then exhale and compress energy in. Abdominals in. And then relax 
relax the arms down at your side or on your thighs. And just give me a really slow rolling action down with the neck. Around to the other side. Let the Qigong head rolls really slow. Like you're moving through water. Releasing the tension in the neck, the stress. Think of it being connected to your mental stress. As you feel the stretch in the neck, feel as though you're releasing and stretching all those thoughts that you ruminate about. Things that keep you up at night, things that make you worry. Stretch them right out of your neck and out of your brain. Inhale and exhale. Use the nice nose breathing. Use your eyes this time and look up and behind you. Look up to the future. Look down, releasing the past. And look up on the other side to the future. 2021, looking bright as a pearl. Down again. Inhale, exhale, down again. Last one. Right to left, and left to right. And then bring the head to the center, to today, to now. Walk the feet together, whether you're seated or standing. Let's inhale, and if you're not standing, stand up. Put your hands on your poles. Shrug your shoulders back, down, and around. Finishing with a sense of calm, the yin, the yang. A sense of renewed energy, health, stamina, vibrancy, positive thoughts, healthful thoughts. Thank you for joining me on Wellness Wednesday. I'm hoping that you all feel the benefit of a little hit interval or mid interval, mini intervals, and a little qigong to be strong and have stamina in the mind, the heart, and the body. Thank you for joining me at 60 Up. Share this with your friends. It's the greatest gift you can do is to invite them to join us sometime. Even when they don't have a board, they can still join us and do what they can and see the wonderful things that we're doing with 60 Up and maybe that'll encourage them to be a part of the 60 Up member group for life. I did have one person ask me, how long do I have to be doing this? Hey, use it or lose it, we're here for the long haul. So I hope you are too. Thank you guys for joining me. Oh, I like the shake it off, Craig. I'm glad you liked it, Yvonne. Really hard today. Yes, Mona, it was meant to be what I call harder but not longer, pushing that pedal but knowing that you have to always stay within your comfort zone. That's why having a chair nearby or omitting things that don't feel quite right for you, and sometimes that has to do with the day or the month. You know, we have certain things that, uh, like arthritis, that are a little worse some days than others. So listen to your body, but join me and push when you can, because that's how we build stamina and endurance for the long haul. I wanna thank you guys once again for being here with me. It it starts my day right. I hope it starts yours right as well. So signing off. Thank you again for being here for our stamina day. See you next week with new fun stuff.